We don't, we don't what have, have you done? What have you done personally to bring it down? I volunteer as much time as I can, so they don't have to pay anybody to do this. Oh, now that's a start. <laughs> that's yeah. a good answer. That's all we got. This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freekeen.com. You're on the school uh, budget committee. I am on the budget committee. Question for you: uh, I understand the school population is going down. So why is the budget going up? Well, part of the problem is that we have hired these two new people, or hope to hire these two new people, which I think will be a huge asset for our community and our education. How will it save money? How will it save money? I don't, Mary, I don't are, you, are you leaving? Yes. <laughs> no, thanks. Do you have any sense? I mean, hiring two people, will that, is there any way that could save money? Well, I think they, they, we have decided that we, there are two teachers that we won't have, and that these two people coming on board will increase the education of the children. Which so, will increase the value of our which school. Will increase the value. Can you name a school? This is going to sound a little bit red meat, but can you name a school in this district, in this area, a private school, that is inferior to your schools? No, I'm not familiar question. with any of the private schools. I'm only familiar with the public schools. And so I can't, I can't say that. Okay. And I think our goal really is to increase the education in this area. And the test scores have been down. And this is in our school. What, e what evidence, if any, can, can you provide that kids in this district would get a better education if there were no government schools at all? Or that they would get a worse education if there were no government schools at all? I don't know that that's a, I don't think that's a fair question. The school is here and we need to make the most of it and make it better if we can. All right. Fair enough. Thanks for the answers. What's your name? Edwina Hastings. Okay, Ms. Hastings. Thanks. Are you on the school board? How you doing, sir? Are, are you on the board? I'm the moderator. Oh, okay. Moderator, yeah. Question for you. If the school population keeps going down, why does the budget go up? You still have the, uh, the physical plant to take care of. Uh, you still have all of the staff to take care of. And, why? Uh, it just, it, I, my, I don't know. It's one of those things. You can't that, fire people? No, well, it's not that. It's just you need a certain staff to maintain the quality of education. And I don't know what they're going to do about it. All the towns are worried about the same issue of what do we do about our student population? Do we combine with other districts? Then you got students on, on the road in buses. So it's a, it's, a, it's a state issue. It's not just one town. Well, if the quality of education is so great here, can you name one private school in this district that is inferior to your schools? No, I'm not that familiar with private schools at all. I know the costs are cheaper for charter schools and private schools. By quite a bit. Um, we're, as they mentioned in this meeting, we're up to almost twenty-two thousand dollars per student. You're spending twenty-two thousand dollars a student, it's, it's up there. and you're showing your face in public. I'm not. I just send in my fees. It's twenty-one thousand seven hundred and something. It's quite a lot, and uh, that's. We don't, we don't what have, have, have you done? What have you done personally to bring it down? I volunteer as much time as I can so they don't have to pay anybody to do this. Oh, now that's a start. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's all we got. You do what you can. Okay, and you're Walter Hall and uh, moderator. moderator. Yes. All right. Moderator. I appreciate transparency. Yep, good talk. All right, right. take care. Free Keen's evil and not very good. I hate Free Keen as much as I could because they have a blog and sometimes hold signs Drinking water from bottles and fighting government fines. Or maybe it's really because I'm riding a train that has some gravy on it in the taxpayer's name. Freaking.com